How do you handle plants with very different watering requirements being in the same garden? What happens when your drip irrigation is simply too large to be supported by a single hose bib? Today, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily zone a hose bib irrigation system to solve both of those and related issues. Zoning is common in gardening, farming, lawn, and all types of irrigation. Best of all, this can be done to create an automatic system or a manual system without a timer, whatever your preference is. The benefits of zoning are numerous. You can ensure that some plants don't get too much water or others get too little. You can deliver the right amount of water to the sunny side of the house, the same as you can the shaded side, or allow your hanging baskets to have their fast spray cycle while your raised beds get their longer drip cycle. No matter the reason, zoning a hose bib drip irrigation system is fast, easy, and effective. There are two ways to zone a hose bib irrigation system, depending on whether you plan to have a manual system where you simply turn on the faucet for each watering cycle or an automatic system that uses a timer to automatically control the irrigation at their pre-programmed times. Creating a multi-zone manual system can be as easy as using this faucet splitter. This one you can see will create two zones. If you need more than two zones, there's a four outlet manifold available that can do anywhere from one, two, three, up to four zones. If you don't need all four zones, you can use one of these as a garden tap. Each outlet on the splitters can support a head assembly and a drip irrigation system. The four outlet faucet manifold is often used for two to three zone drip systems with the last outlet or two being used for a garden hose or a simple garden tap. Creating an automatic multi-zone drip system on a hose bib is almost as easy as using one of the faucet splitters. All you'll need is a multi-outlet timer like this one for two zones or this one for four zones. An automatic timer is highly recommended to get the full benefit of a drip irrigation system. With these, you can have a two to four zone drip system running from your hose bib. It may be tempting to try and go with a single head assembly that is upstream of your splitter or timer, but this should never be done. The reason comes down to what's known as constant pressure. Anything upstream of a splitter, manifold, or timer will be under this constant pressure, and those parts are simply not rated for it they will quickly wear out and break down when exposed to the rigors of constant pressure. There are head assembly parts that are rated for constant pressure, but they tend to be pipe threaded rather than hose threaded like your hose bib. So getting them installed at the hose bib requires multiple adapters, each of which adds another point of potential failure to a system. Okay, now that you have the information, let's go zone our hose bib into a couple different configurations so you can actually see it in action. Right, let's start by doing a two zone manual drip system on our hose bib. As you can see, there are two on off switches on here. That means you can run your zones separately or one at a time as you should when zoning a drip system or any irrigation system. And that's all there is to it. Now let's assemble a zone system that's automatic. It's the same process, just with a timer instead of a Y adapter. If you need to learn how to install a drip irrigation head assembly, or if you'd just like to know some tips and tricks, check out the video guide there in the top right. It'll walk you through step by step. A quick tip when you're installing your head assembly is to finger tighten the pieces only. You don't want to over tighten or you risk damaging them. Just like the splitters, the multi-outlet timers can have a free outlet that can be easily used as an open garden tap. Simply press the manual button and the outlet will open and allow water through. When you're ready to turn it off, press the manual button again or the off button and it will stop. As you can see, a four zone head assembly takes up an awful lot of space. If you'd like to learn some tips and tricks to get the most out of your space and how to set up head assemblies on spigots that are low to the ground, check out our video there in the top right. It shows you how to make the most of the space that you're working with. If you'd like to automate your hose bib drip irrigation system with timers like what you saw today, check out our video right there. It's a guide that covers our hose end timers.